Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. And I'm, of course, having issues as soon as I hit go. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys? I am here to do a haul video, but I'm fixing my screen real quick because it just all of a sudden acted goofy. So, oh. All right, so good morning. How are you? Hey, Green Pastures. Hey, Barbara. How's it going? I'm so glad you guys could make it this morning. Um, this is really impromptu. And if you are asking yourself, why didn't I get a text? Because I signed up for the text notifications. Well, I made a teensy mistake. The company that I went with with the text messages, I thought that you could front load it and like pay and you know for a certain amount of texts. And they, but instead they're like, you need to pay $40 for a whole month. And then that's every month. So I was like, no, that's, and I messaged the guys and like, uh, do you have like a plan? Like I can buy so many credits or something. So no, but I have a feeling that there's probably another service that I can do that. So I'm going to look at that. So I appreciate it if you signed up and I'm sorry for the mix up, but that's what's going on with the, the text messaging thing, because I really think it's a good idea. So I'm certain there's somebody out there that has what I need. So anyway, ugh, I see myself this morning now in the, in the camera. I'm like, oh, okay. So good morning. Good morning, Mary Lou. How are you? Okay. So I wanted to share with you some of the things I picked up. Um, Tanya and I did part of the garage sale haul um, this weekend. We went to a community garage sale. <clears throat> Pardon. And I had a lot more stuff. I just didn't show it all. So I wanted to share it with you. And now I don't know if you know me. But well, hi, I'm Margaret. And secondly, I don't. I'm not usually a fan of community garage sales because they are so crowded, and just like everybody's there, and there's like cars this way and that way, and everybody wants to drive through. And I don't know. I just get really, and there's too many people. So we went anyway, and I'm so glad we did. Hey, AJ's bargain basement. How are you? I'm really glad we did because I found some really awesome stuff. So some of it I showed in the thrift haul with Tanya, which is just a couple videos ago. I can link it later. And then uh, the rest of it I'm gonna show you today. Some of the stuff we're keeping, some of the stuff is for selling. So here we go, ready? I'm sure you are, that's why you're here. Okay, <clears throat> the first thing is something we're keeping. And I already had somebody, who was it? Somebody came, oh my friend Kelly came over for the chatter books and saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, can I have that? Can I buy it from you? Like, no. So I found this, I don't know if I can get it. It's huge, it's ginormous. It's a, one of those printmaking trays, like so, like that. So I got that one, and then there's a smaller one here. Let's see if I can get it, I got stuff on it. Ah! Okay, let's just take it slow, Margaret. Things are getting hectic already, I can feel it. <laughs> Good morning, Diane and Samantha, hello. And then a small one, so here's the small one, like so. So I got the both of those for $10, but we're gonna keep them and uh, we're gonna hang them in our dining room slash my sewing room. So that is going over there. I'm excited for that because, you know, I, I have mini figs, <laughs> like Lego mini figs, I love them. But then also just, you find little things, like your kids give you a cool rock, you know, and you wanna stick it in somewhere to display it, hang on. I'm trying to lean them over here so they don't fall down and knock this down so you can see my messy house. So you can't see my messy house. So those are something that is that we're keeping. And then this is another keeper. Let's see if I have any other keepers so I can get those out of the way. So this was a cutesy little thing, which might end up going in there that I'm gonna keep. <laughs> it's a little teeny calico kitty, because one of my kitties is a calico. So, and her name is Leia. Good morning, Kathy B. Good morning, Darlene O and Sarah. Hello, hello. Pardon me. Okay, so there were lots of really cool things. I mean, there were, <sighs> gracious, I mean, there were a ton of garage sales, and we got there early. She met, we met up at like seven, so we, we were early burdened it, and luckily nobody turned us away, so it was good. All right, let me get my um, window open. Oh, Green Pasture says she loves those trays. She's a quilter. She wants one. Yes, I can just imagine all the bobbins and bits and things to go in there, right? All the little doodads. All right. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to figure out which way to go first. Jewelry? Do I, there's a big thing, got by the way, too. There's like a big, big wow that I found, which if you follow me on Facebook or um, Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but I'm going to share it. So anyway, first things first, let me do this one. So I found this hat, and originally I just saw this. 
and it's a flag with these fish. And I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't, you know, it was a dollar, so I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. And then I saw on the back this PFG. This is a really good brand to pick up. It's that fishing gear brand. Their shirts tend to do well, the vented ones. Um, the, the hat is, in a, this part of the hat, it needs a little bit of cleanup. I mean, around the band, which I, I'm going to try for this one. But the rest of it looks pretty good. I don't normally, you know, clean up. I don't want to have to deal with clean up. <laughs> Barbara wants to see the jewelry. Yes. <laughs> so let me find, I have about a zillion tabs open. So let me find the hat real quick so I can show you. Maybe I should have gone in order of the tabs that I had open. But I'm not smart like that. <laughs> Here it is. I found it. Yay. All right. So I'm going to screen share and show you the hat. And this solds on eBay. Some of my things are on eBay, some are not. <clears throat> so here we go. This is a sold, three bids, $24.50 for this hat. Um, I didn't see another one exactly like it. Look, I think they started their bidding too low on that. But anyway, I didn't see another one. I mean, I saw a new one. But on here, no, no, no. So let me show you the one that was not sold. And it was a new one, and it was going for $22.95. So I think once I clean it up, it'll look nice, and it'll go for better money. Oh, there's a little preview of something that's coming. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I can clean it up and maybe, you know, put it around that $20 mark if, it, if I can get it to look really nice. So let's see what people in the chat are saying. Thank you, Sarah. She says, I like to see all the cool things you find. Thank you. Hello. Oh, boy. Can you sell? Oh, hi, I can't say your name. I want to be like, Carrick, good morning, how are you? And one witchy lady. No, we just started. You're in luck. I think I've only showed a couple things, two things. Okay, so since the strawberry shortcake was up, I took a chance on this little girl. I think I may have paid a dollar for her, but it turns out not as good as I thought. So I will screen share again and let you know what I'm thinking. So she, you know, she's not going for that much. I think if I, she was new in the box, maybe. But I think the market is kind of flooded right now with it. So six seventy four. I saw another one up here that was a bit better. I think one of them was American Greetings and one of them was Kenner, too. So I think that, oh, sorry for scrolling on you. Here we go. See, here's a, this one's a Kenner one. The other one said American Greetings. So, but she's got her comb and her stockings and all her little doodads. So... I am not exactly sure what I'm going to do with her because I don't think I'm going to get that much for her. So I might hang on to her. Oh, that's what I was about to say, one witchy lady. So hang on to her and see if you can get some more characters to lot together. That's what I was thinking. Great minds think alike. Awesome. So yeah, that's what's going to happen with this little girl. She'll go in a, a box and then I'll forget about her. Poor thing. <laughs> but then I'll know. I'll, I'll be thinking about that when I find more if the price is right. Um, Louise Park says, I've just been looking around the charity shops here in the UK. Not half as exciting as where you get your items. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> do you do a lot of car boots? Car boot sales? Those are, they sound interesting. I'd like to go check one out. <clears throat> okay, so next up, I'm going to try to do my pile over here to get that out of the way. You know how I feel about Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter a lot. Um, and I collect Harry Potter stuff. So I found some games in generally like the ones that have like the the drawn versions can go for a lot but these ones you know I still grab them <laughs> if they're not and I'm so glad I did and you know what this is at one of the garage sales that we almost didn't stop at because it was like tables of clothes and there was some stuff in the garage and I was like oh you want to just drive by Tanya and she's like no let's get out and these were sitting on a blanket on the floor in the garage so uh, there were three there are three Harry Potter games and another, hang on, I'm, hang, I'm hung up on something here. Hang on. And another little Harry Potter thing. So let me show you what this one is. I'm going to have to screen share. Wait, let me make sure I'm on the right thing so I don't give things away down here in the chat. Is this the right one? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So this one is a big winner. Okay, come on. I'm talking like I'm, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Come on, screen share. There we go. So here we go. Harry Potter seen it, the complete cinematic journey. This one is a sold for $50, $56. These ones are on auction, $56. So it's looking like around the $50 mark for these, but then I also looked on Amazon, and that's not the same one. That's a different one. Oh, dear. I know I looked on Amazon. Look, I'm just going to show you everything. Here it is. 
Nope, that's eBay. Good golly. All right, complete cinematic journey. These are probably not sold. Oh boy, no, these are sold. What was I looking at before? Good gosh. All right, $89. I thought it was more. $69.99. These are sold. Okay, $49.75. 75. So anyway, looks good. And then there is Amazon. I knew I looked it up. <laughs> so these ones are on Amazon. These are collectible. These are not the new ones. So they're going 80, 99. So I think this one is going to bring in, if it's complete, anywhere between 50 and $90, which is awesome. I like Harry Potter, but I'm not going to keep this game if it's going to bring in $50. <laughs> All right, let's see the chat real quick before I move on. Um, let's see. Finally able to see one live. Yay, Kelly. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Oh, hello, Mark Colson. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so that was one of the Harry Potter games. That was the home run of the Harry Potter games that I picked up. So I'm going to show you the next one. This is the, uh, And this one was also up there. This is the Seen It DVD game, Harry Potter. And this, and I paid a buck for each of these, a dollar for each of the games. So, hello, Gail. Here we go. Let's share again. And that's the one we were just looking at a second ago. So here's the Harry Potter Seen It on Amazon. Eh, not as good as far as for selling on Amazon. And that's the clue one. So yeah, on this one, I am not sure about what I'm gonna go with that one. Cause it, I mean, that was on Amazon. I'll probably check it all in. Cause even on some of these games, the, the people want the, just the pieces, you know? So worst case scenario, I, I part out the pieces. Whoo, there it goes. And then I know you probably saw the Clue game because that was the, on the screen that was up. And then the Harry Potter Clue game also. So, and again, I paid a dollar for each of those. <laughs> Let me screen share and show you that. <clears throat> so here on Amazon, the Clue Harry Potter, about 40 bucks. Very good. And it's in pretty good shape. It's dusty. I just have to dust it off. But I mean, anywhere it's going 45 and up on Amazon. And then this is, these are sold on eBay. So 40, there's a couple, you know, $24.99. So I think it's going to pay. How, how about that, cha-ching? Um, so let me stop screen sharing. And I think, you know, that, that'll go for in the $30 range and all that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I love Harry Potter. But those are going to sell. Is it rude for me to check to see what's sold? Do you guys want to know? I haven't done a sales video in a while. I need to get myself back in gear. I've been off. A, pa a pattern, of course, a kid's pattern. Yay. It's that time of year. It's a Halloween kid's pattern. So if you got a Halloween kid's pattern, this one is simplicity, costume, kid's pattern, lamb, rabbit, costume, duck, lady by pumpkin, jack lantern. Paid $16. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. I gotta be in my mom's house in a minute. Oh my gosh, this might have to be a two-parter, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna do the jewelry. I'll go ahead and do it now because I know I already promised that. And so some of it I may have to come back and show you later. I'll try to hustle. How about that? Okay, so at a particular garage sale, I spent five dollars on all the things I'm going to show you. I'm gonna just hold them all up. So all of these little doodads, I spent five dollars in the contents of this little box here. So these glasses I could not find. I bought them at a garage sale, I promise, even though they had the Goodwill sticker on them. But they are Mark Honey Bunny Time Warner Brothers ink. Um, and I could not find any Time Warner Brothers ink glasses. And they say, even though they say Honey Bunny, there's no characters on them. So the, I'm gonna have to do a bit more research for those ones. I looked, I did. And then these little, characters. <clears throat> these these two are Bisque, these little gentlemen, uh, little Bisque miniature guys. Um, one of them is Japan, one of them is Germany, and I did look them up. Let me flip through real quick. Let me screen share, and I'll just show you those real quick. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get to the right page. Um, and what I'm seeing from what I'm seeing, the one, I'm trying to find the start of it because I did a lot, a lot of them. So the one that's made in Japan is not worth quite as much. I'm seeing like 450, five bucks, six bucks. Hang on. 
But then the one that's made in Germany might be worth a bit more. I know he doesn't match those. But from what I could tell, I know I got one. I, I just did not close out my other windows. That's the same one. Oh, gosh. So this one is Japan 795, and that is not sold. But, you know, I, I didn't see any of them on Etsy, so I might have to do a bit more research again. But, good gosh, I know I had them pulled up. Okay, forget it. Um, <laughs> But from what I found earlier, the one that was made in Germany will probably bring more than the one made in Japan. But who knows? I may lot them together. And then this little girl, this little milkmaid, she's metal. She's like cast metal. Her feet are missing. That's unfortunate. Um, but from what I can tell, and I didn't find one just like her. She's got no markings. Um, <clears throat> and... Here we go. So those are just pictures that I was trying to find her. So here I'm finding a couple milkmaids in the, you know, 16, 13, and that, and that kind of range. So even though she's missing her feet, and even though she's, you know, in very, very used condition, I will probably put her an, a high number on her just because she's different. You know, why not? So... Okay, one which they says, oh my, oh, OMG, jewelry, I started checking that out, thanks to you, yay, I'm good, jewelry can sell, that's right. Okay, so oh, also, in the $5, I got this box, and the contents of this box, this was it, on the same basis, but these were, are some um, vintage clip-ons, there's those ones that look like that, and then, and then these ones that look like this, this one's missing some stones. I wasn't going to get those, but shoot, it was just like the whole box. And it was five bucks for everything. And then this is the big winner. So this one um, was in every, everything for $5. So this ring um, is a 10 karat gold and diamond ring. And I tested it. So 10 karat gold, diamonds, these are all... There's like little round diamonds, and then along the edges, these are like little baguettes along the edges. So, yeah, I mean, then if you average everything out, I might have paid like 50 cents for it. And I'm thinking it's going to be worth, I don't know, three between two and $300, but I don't know for sure. I've got to go get it um, checked out. But then I was telling my son, I wore it the other day, and I, I told my little one, Oh, mommy's going to sell this ring. And he literally started crying and said, you can't sell it, mommy. You need diamond rings. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be selling it or not. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was the big, the big winner right there. Big winner, diamond ring. It happens, right? It happens. It's out there. So that was my giant winner. So let me show you the rest of the jewelry I got. It won't be as as well as, as the diamond ring. Um, but I will show you what I got. So I picked up some earrings and they are like these quiver, or they're the arrows, they're arrows, but they're not the arrows. They're just like the feathers on the back. And they were marked, I don't know if you can see, it says um, FF, oh no, no, no it doesn't, LL. It's L it says LL on there. And so, I, you know, thought, okay, let me take a chance. They're not magnetic. They're marked, which is a good sign. But I think what they are is Lucky Brand. Because what I, what I found when I looked it up, and I just, I'm not fast enough. Apparently, I have to go in a minute. Um, that's something else. Let me close that window. I'm going to have to get to some of this stuff later. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so what I found out with LL is that I think it's Lucky Brand because Lucky also has something called Lucky Layers. Is that even Lucky Brand or is that something different? I don't know. This is Lucky Brand. So I think the LL might stand for Lucky Layers. I don't know what you think. So um, those ones, I don't know. I may, I may try to put, you know, 18 bucks on them. Archery is really big right now, and I know this, and will happily exploit it. <laughs> so and then I've got this stretchy bracelet. This was also a dollar. Where's the bag? Yeah, that. Or was it $2? Maybe $2. All right, so nobody sub people in the chat that say sub me, I'll sub you back. Come on, really. Get, get, yeah. Anyway, so 
This stretchy bracelet um, with the sea starfish or sea stars or whatever you call them. This is, I would block them, but I don't have time right now because I gotta go get my mom. <laughs> Where did they go? Okay, so these are sold. I didn't find one, am I screen sharing? Okay. Oh, um, I didn't find one exactly like it. So I think that I'll probably put it at the $15 or so level. I mean, mine is not Lily Pulitzer, mine is not. But anyway, I, I liked it enough, and I think people will like it, that I'm gonna put it at the $15 level. And then, what time are we looking at? Oh, brother. I got this bag, it had this copper bracelet and this necklace in it, and I really got it for the bracelet. That was what I got it for. Um, for $2 for the both of those. And originally, I didn't take it out to look at it, I just thought, okay, I've sold these kind of copper um, cuff bracelets before. But then when I took it out literally just today, <laughs> when I was researching it, it, it has the magnets in there, but then I noticed that it was stamped in there and it says Sergio Lub. Let me find it again, ready to go. I looked it up, I did. Sergio Lub bracelet, let me pull that up for you. So I paid a dollar for this bracelet and these ones, I just did a Google search because I was looking up the name of the dude. And so from what I'm seeing are things in the around $20 range. Here we go. Look at that, $10. No, thank you. I'm going to go higher. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm seeing, you know, pro I'll probably put it at the $20 mark, especially since it's marked, you know, because I know I've sold copper and mixed metal bracelets for, you know, 15 or more dollars. And if this one's marked and it's got the little fancy magnets in it, I think I can get more. So says me, and I'll try. So, and then this was just that the the, the necklace that was in there. This was just the Brucey bonus. If you watch my friend Ken Chapman, <laughs> he talks about the Brucey bonus. But this is just Alfani brand. So, I may sell it. I may put it in a lot um, because it was not my intended. And then this I picked up too, just because, and it was a dollar. I don't know. I've never sold anything like it, and I didn't. I didn't look it up. So there you have it. Okay. So I apologize that I'm going to have to stop early, earlier than I intended. But I will come back hopefully later today, if not today, then tomorrow, to share the rest of the things that I found, and hopefully more. Because I went. Well, hmm, we'll see. I went. I went out. If you don't know, Sunday I'm going to be doing the thrift haul throwdown on Jason T. Smith's channel with against Nick Garces, who is the Bolo King, so I'm really kind of nervous. So I've been hitting the thrift stores and stuff hard because I only have a few more days to find everything and I don't have everything yet. And so I've been doing a ride along with that so I can show all the stuff I've been finding after the thrift haul. So now I'm not sure <laughs> what else, I, but I have things to share. So I'll probably come back either on later today or tomorrow to share the rest of the haul. Um, thanks so much for your confidence that I'm going to crush him. <laughs> it's been fun doing trash talk behind the scenes. So Jason and Nick and I are all in a chat on Facebook and um, we, you know, that's the fun part. It's like saying how hard he's going to go down, you know, you're going down brother. So <laughs> I think it's fun. All right. So thank you so much everybody for coming by and checking this out. If this is your first time here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe. Uh, my channel is mostly dedicated to reselling or making money online. I do haul videos, sales videos, tutorials, and sometimes I do unboxings and fun things like that. So I would love to have you join us and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. You would keep the ring if it fits. <laughs> if the ring fits, right? That's the perk. That's a perk. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. And I will talk to you later and I will fill you in again about the texting thing and see what we can find out because I want you to know and I want to know too. Okay. Bye. I got to go for real. Okay. Bye. <laughs>